He's invited uh, Bob and I to come up uh, for a long weekend and do some colt starting. And uh, he said to me, because we talk a lot about feel and timing and, you know, and he says, you're getting, you're really getting good, because I show him the videos. And uh, he says, you're really, really doing good. He says, you're very, very close with everything. And he said, you just need uh, a little bit of hands-on. So, because uh, he said on the computer, you can't say what you need to say. No. So, I told... And she may be a little bit uh, kind of watching you to see if you're going to invite her in because of but the Liberty work. And uh, I, if she... Dr Yeah. Yeah. You can breathe. You know what's funny is I think you're the only person, you are the only person that saw that picture of her driving. And, and and saw what it was. Yeah. Everybody else was like, oh, you're holding the reins funny or, you know. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right. I watch horses, you know. <laughs> I'm like, do you see her neck? Do you that's see like, her feet? Like yeah. I'm like, you don't understand what a miracle that is for this <laughs> horse. <laughs> Yeah. Uh huh. And I would really rather have her kind of fall into it herself because she's darn round, she doesn't know what else to do with that. I bet she will. <laughs> well, she was just getting ready to blow, and you moved the whip, and it was like, ah! Oh, a gopher snake? Yeah, <laughs> but geez. Uh, it's the whole snake. The worst one I ever had was walking across my orchard, and I needed a weed whack. It was getting overgrown, and I'm about to step down, and I see the middle of the snake. Oh. Yeah, when you can't see the front or back end, <laughs> we, we back up quickly. So again, fortunately, it was just a large gopher snake. Oh. Wow. Maybe why we don't have the rattlers is that you know they're taking care of the mice for me. What I'm loving right now is the number of lizards I have out in my haystack. Because I have a hot wire in front of my hay that started back when I had Great Danes because they like to get in the hay and make nests. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's really animated and kind of silly, don't you think? Yeah. You wonder what they think. Well, I think in 
many cases, her automatic, oh. you know, her, her default mode is yeah. victories and trots. Yeah. Because everyone likes the victories and trots. That's what I was trained to do, victories and trots. You know, Tam... Tammy that trains Wander, yeah. she said that the the sad thing about the Frisian horse is the first thing that you do with them as a baby is all that wild shaking cans and cracking whips for the big trot. And she said then as a three-year-old, you go take them back for that three-year-old inspection. And she said it's the same thing. She said it's the worst start you could ever you could ever do for them. Yeah. Yeah. See, I love your walk. It's a beautiful walk. And it's getting much more consistent. So I want to make a top. It's like you need the quarter horse lazy gene somehow. Yeah, we need to stem cell uh, inject it. Belgium. Belgium is a good one. Belgian, yeah. 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 It's cooler. We're feeling good. One of my friends has a. Uh, her name is like Leo Lenopo or something. You'll see her on there, and she has DB, dear Belgian. Oh yeah, yeah. We've had a couple chats. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, I was telling her, I said, the summer and the heat is your friend. Trust me. <laughs> and she would, and you know, she's new. She's fairly new to horses. Or, okay. and, and Dear Belgian was a driving horse that used to run away. I know that DB is for Dear Belgian and not damn Belgian. <laughs> no, it's Dear Belgian. She also calls him Pinkie Pie. Her daughter uh, was My Little Pony. And uh, she said, when I call him Pinkie Pie, he doesn't seem as scary to me. Okay. And. So I was kept saying to her, you don't realize that hot days are really great days to ride and work your horse when you're a little worried. Because I said, as soon as the weather changes, We had a big discussion about what she has named. I love her. She's so cool. Her name is Joellen. Uh -huh. uh, ping pong belly. Because I was trying to explain to her about what you said about the little girl riding bareback and the belly swinging and the legs. And I said, so she, I was talking to her a lot about it. And she uh, messaged me back and said, I rode Dear Belgium with Ping Pong Belly. I'm like, what is Ping Pong Belly? And then I finally understood. Ah, the belly coming onto the leg. Okay. And she said he liked it. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, it's a way to keep connected. Because she said when she first started riding, she felt like she had a complete disconnect from her horse because on the ground she could look at his eye and yeah. blow kisses to him and stuff. Well, a lot of people, when they get up on their backs, they freeze. They try to sit with pretty posture, maybe, because maybe that's what they've learned. I was doing it. I didn't even yeah, realize. You don't think about You lock your hip. Your hips move with your horse. You, know, you mimic all that movement. And then it's okay for your legs to move, too. You know, it isn't perfect Yeah. Horse. Yeah. You know, Kathy, I started feeding her a probiotic uh, supplement. I'll show it to you. Sure. Which one is it? You know. Yeah, I got it at Inland Vet. Uh -huh. Comes in her. Know. 